Greetings everyone. Today I am at chess.com battling the bot uh, Isabel rated 1600 and uh, I made a lot of mistakes in this game and uh, but I did pull through and recover for a win. Um, so it ended up being 76 moves and I'll show you how I ended up in this position. I played the white pieces and um, I'm sorry to talk so fast but it is a long game so I'm going to just skip to you know some of the highlights and show you uh, some ideas. So maybe if you're struggling with uh, Isabel, like I did, uh, maybe some ideas can help you. And so uh, let's get started here. Um, computer said I played at a 84% and Isabel played at a 77%. And so let's uh, take a look here and see what happened. Okay, so if you're fairly new to chess, just remember control the center and develop your pieces that's the big idea I mean there's a ton of openings I suggest start with two or three if you want to memorize openings just start with two or three and learn some of the different variations from there um, a lot of these openings I don't remember <laughs> some of their names I confess I recognize the pattern and some of the things to watch out for but uh, I don't remember all these fancy names and stuff so um, okay so just trying to control the center here and um you know so uh right now this pawn its defender is the queen it's not gonna you know isabel's not gonna sacrifice her queen for that so i'm gonna i'm gonna uh pick up that pawn absolutely okay and when you see something like this get ready for fanchetto uh so um something to keep in mind okay but um you know she chooses not to do that she gets this other piece developed okay and so i want to attack it my big thing if you've seen some of my other videos is uh i love to mess up pawn structure for my opponent um so that's kind of one thing i go after sometimes i stick to it a little too hard and um yeah so let's see here so you know here we come with that messed up pawn structure that i was talking about you do have to be careful because later in the game there could be a rook hammering down here in this instance when this is opened like that and if i want my king there it's hammering down right on my king so something to be aware of but i do like the idea of messing up this pawn structure right here okay so let's keep this going and so as you can see uh computer says it's an inaccuracy and it's probably a little too aggressive on my part to get the queen out so early like this i don't even have these pieces developed i see that now when i was playing the game i was like all right you know here we go but my big idea here was I wanted to do this for mate, you know, put the put the queen there for mate after this gets out of the way, of course. And, you know, I should have known 1600 is a very respectable ELO. I should have known at this level, you know, hey, Isabel's not going to fall for that. And so I'm just wasting moves on something that's not going to happen. Uh, I should have known better, but thought I'd try um, the fun thing about playing these bots is you always get to try new things like that totally no pressure and so that's what I do I, I wanted to pick up that free pawn because I mean the computer says hey there was a better move you could have done and uh, oh gosh actually there was <laughs> yeah so I totally missed this in the game oh my dear lord okay so I just had my sights on I want my queen I want this pawn out of the way so my queen can barrel down on that king but look at this, folks. I missed this in the game, and I just now saw it. If I would have put my... I own all this diagonal with the queen here. If I would have put my bishop here, I mean, that is just an absolute pin. Um, oh, boy. That was... Uh, let me move those arrows. Let me show that to you again here. Um, I own all this. Bishop comes here, and I've, I've got this queen. That's pinned. Um, I totally missed that. Okay, I missed it, I confess. But um, you'd be surprised how many games that I should have won and very nearly won and screwed it up in the end. You'd be amazed how, how much I can screw things up when they're going my way. <laughs> so, um, I'm still liking the idea of just hammering down on this king side and, and getting a win. And uh, so... That's what I'm trying here is, again, I'm trying something queen here, and it's mate because I own that. So that's my big idea. And, again, you know, I'm a fool if I think Isabel's going to let that happen. 
and uh, I'm, I'm wasting too many moves here on this silly idea you know and here again this is one one of the moves I wanted to show you this is my mistake I played the white pieces uh, I admit embarrassingly if I could have got my queen here I mean look I push up this pawn I'm attacking this but more importantly my queen would be attacking this rook and there's no defender for this rook um, you know this I totally missed this I can't believe I won this game actually looking at all these mistakes I made but okay so let's keep the game going there's uh, something happens there at the end game that I want to um, show you um, again yeah probably not the best move I'm just so determined to make something happen here that I lose sight of everything else and that's one of my weaknesses in chess is I get this big idea in my head and I just hammer down and you have to be you have to stay positive and you have to be mentally flexible with this game it is a, it's a game of yin and yang there's constant back and forth you can't take something without giving something first and um, you know when you forget these basic rules you just make these silly mistakes like I did um, okay so now I mean here's the one thing about this game I have one minor officer one minor piece um, my opponent has two minor pieces and I only have one because all my ding donging around hell bent that's right I said determined to, to do this one silly thing that wasn't going to work from the start and so that's my weakness that's something I got to work on constantly with my chess game uh, and in my personal life too but let's play this game out let's see what happens here okay yeah here I uh, just want to point this out you know coming up against the side of the board like that I mean that's no good really I mean control four squares I'm trying to get it out in the middle somewhere still and uh, going up against the side is not uh, not the best way to go about it. I should have you know fight fire with fire look I own this file I should have attacked here okay so but I didn't so I saw this open file and jumped on it um, probably getting a little too excited here I should have calmed down a little bit but um, I did not want this exchange because I take they take and now my opponent owns this file so I did not take this exchange and that's why I want to own the file not my opponent um, so okay let's go I'm trying to go here by the way so that I can check and take that's my big idea right here okay that's why I went there and of course Isabel sees that and says no I'm not letting you get here no way so I go back so now I basically lose a turn and so that's one thing about being too aggressive I try to be aggressive but most games only last you know 42 moves if you're evenly matched and now look I'm right back where I was I basically surrendered a turn that hurts okay so you, you you know you have to be careful this was tricky tricky by Isabel I can't retake because of this I'm pinned remember earlier I talked about how this could be a hazard when you know it barrels down on your king like that and sure enough there it is so um, in this game <laughs> I make about every mistake possible so you know there it is I lost a rook um so now it's my knight so we're even up we both have one minor piece my opponent has one major piece I do not however however this pawn structure is terrible mine is better um so I need to be focusing on these pawns and uh getting them promoted and so let's uh, keep the game going here yeah uh should have took that because you're gonna uh Isabel should have but uh, that's okay uh I made worse mistakes than that so forcing moves just throw forcing this uh bishop around as you can see here and it allows me to develop a little bit and I'm forcing so I always like to when I play chess to control what moves I'm going to make and then you know it hurts somebody when you're forcing them to move that bishop it's not allowing them to set up whatever it is she's trying to set up so that's something to keep in mind forcing moves and so yep there's a um, a wee spot of trouble here always watch out for this uh, we've got 
two officers or officer and king worse yet and then your opponent you know owns this you're going to lose something there and that's what i'm after why did my mouse stop working okay and so that's what happens king moves and there it is okay so let's keep this game going um if you want to take oops if you want to take tonight um sure i'll be glad to let you do that but uh isabel's too too sharp for that okay so i'm trying to get one of these guys promoted and uh, i still got a few moves to go through um there's check i was hoping for that hope is a terrible tactic in chess um but uh okay so now i gotta get this knight in the game so now this piece is protected by the knight and this piece is protected by that piece so now for the most part i can sit there all day until the king starts coming here and attacking so now i'm free to concentrate on this area and get one of these pawns promoted that's my idea but i'm sure at this level isabel sees that and says okay so all this protection begins with this knight and i need to go isabel says i need to go get this knight and you can't just leave your king sit here because then you'll never get these guys promoted so let's uh, see what happens here okay um computer says that was a mistake um yeah i didn't think it was bad just because of what i said earlier i'm computer knows better than i do but um anyway let's keep this going um here i'm trying to um oh computer said that was brilliant ah, <laughs> thank you so uh and a little bit lucky but i'll take it um so now i'm feeling i'm really back in this game because i feel like yeah you know one of these is getting promoted now you want to take the night go ahead i'm looking to promote and now i'm attacking this so i get a take and there's my queen now i am controlling this game and so now there's um a lot of back and forth and i'll try to go through it quick I, I thought about doing this exchange believe it or not and then take and i take this and then i start working these pawns up okay but i feel like even just these two is a little bit too much there's got to be a safer idea for me and so um uh, i'm sorry to show so much messing about here but i'm trying to see if i can take care of this problem this is a problem for me one of these could promote still that that could very easily happen um so i'm just trying to play nice conservative safe chess keep that king out of here uh, i thought about doing that but this is right back to that same problem by the time i go get these pawns i don't want the king to take out my pawns so i feel like i could still play it safer i mean some of you can maybe watch that and say hey wait a minute you actually could have got away with that um i quickly did the calculations and saw that it might be some trouble so i played it safe so now this pawn is protected from that uh rook so all right let's keep this going because there's quite a few moves here so now um you know you can i own this so um isabel's gonna have some trouble stopping me from taking out these pawns and that's really what i want here now this goes to check and it protects this pawn um so i'm trying to protect these pawns and uh yeah there okay now i feel like i can breathe a little easy and try to get something else promoted now if they want if my opponent wants to change sure you bet because one of these guys is getting promoted so i'll, I'll click trade my queen for this lesser piece just to, because i'm going to promote here okay so let's keep this going and i do so now i'm like yep you can get out you can't stop me from queening okay let me get out of the way and here we go get my second queen and now if you've seen some other vidges I build a box for my king at the end game i own all this the king the only thing the king can do is uh and i own this too obviously but the only thing the king can do is just hop around in this little area down here and with my second king i'm going to start squeezing in on this box and make it even smaller yet okay and so uh 
there's probably different ways to do it, but there it is. And there's me. So I hope that helps you. Um, I did make quite a few mistakes in this game, I confess, <laughs> but um, it was close. Um, keep the hammer down, try new things. That's what I did. And uh, luckily I did uh, still uh, manage to defeat this uh, Isabel 1600. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that helps. Have a great day.